Hey guys, what is up? In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to deliver a presentation inside of Zoom. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to deliver a presentation inside of Ecamm Live using Zoom. So the best and easiest way to show you this is there are two ways we can do this. The first way is utilizing Ecamm Live or virtual um, live streaming software. The other way to do it is natively inside of Zoom using the screen share function. Now, I'm specifically speaking about Keynote, but the same ideas and principles do work inside of PowerPoint. So let's jump right in. I am going to go ahead and share my screen here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is inside of Keynote, I am going to simply hit play slideshow. Now, I have not customized it or anything whatsoever. And over here, you can see it brought up the presenter notes. This is not what I want my viewers to see, but I can go ahead and simply toggle the switch right here to switch displays. And now it has reversed what is being seen. Oh, and I actually am noticing here, you guys are actually seeing the primary monitor, so. Now you are seeing the correct display. That is not my favorite way to do it though. It is fine for inside of Zoom. And actually if we go ahead and take a look here, if I pull up a Zoom meeting really quick. And say, got it. And I do a new screen share. And I say uh, desktop two, or actually let's just do keynote. And now we're sharing it. If I play it, it does give me that preview of what I am sharing inside of Zoom. And if I can find my mouse, oops. It's showing the wrong side. All I have to do, come over here, switch those displays, and now when I preview it, they are now seeing the correct side. So again, the button you are looking for is right here, and it is the switch displays icon. So that is option one for sharing your screen inside of Keynote. Now let me show you how I like to do this and it's actually my preferred method. So we are gonna go ahead and come on over in, whoops, not that one, not that display. We're gonna come over here and go into live demo mode so you are seeing everything in which I am seeing. I'm also gonna go ahead and stop the screen share on Zoom, we will come back to Zoom in just a minute. Let's go ahead and build a new scene. And we're gonna call this uh, presentation with Pip. So this is the view you just saw, me on one side and my presentation on the other side. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, new overlay button and I'm going to navigate to that overlay there in here and let's see desktop screen share and it's that one go ahead and align it so it is whoops correctly aligned There we go, and there's that. Now, all I have, to, I'm gonna add camera overlays. 
Camera overlays are going to be located right down here. And you can see it brought my camera up right away, um, but I can edit anything in here. So click the pencil, and now I can simply select which camera I want to bring in the feed for. And I can also select the dimensions or the shape. Now for this, I'm going to select custom, and I'm going to bring this over like so. And I can drag it till I get the size I am looking for. If I hold my op or my command key, I can kind of move it freeform without the snapping. Okay. Doesn't look great. We're going to fix it here in a second. And actually, if I come out of demo mode, you can see exactly what it looks like here. It's not great. So let's go ahead and keep going. We are going to go ahead and go to this window right here. And in this window, we are now going to select the new camera overlay again. Or not new camera overlay, sorry about that. We are going to select the new screen share overlay. It's right above the camera overlay. Click that edit, and now we can set our settings. So I'm actually going to set this to be my keynote presentation. And once again, I'm going to set it to custom. So I have that full control. Holding my command key, I can resize it and not have it snap on me. And again, doesn't look great. Honestly, it looks kind of like garbage, but we're going to fix it. So down here in our show in current scene, you see our three sources. All I'm going to do is grab this, drag it all the way to the top, and that should fix it. Uncheck the zoom to active snap or the active windows. And then one last thing I want to change. You can see here I've got a little bit of overshoot. I'm going to hold my option key and just kind of uh, stretch that out a little bit. And we are good. Dragging that down. And there it is. Now this looks super, super professional. If I come out of live demo mode, you will see this is what you see. You see the frames. It looks really sharp and professional. But now how do we actually share this inside of a presentation? Well, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And that is going to be done using... Let me just set this up real quick. I should have had this ready to go. There we go. And let's publish. Love preview mode. If you know anything about me, you know I love using that tool. I use it all the time. Okay, coming over into Keynote, we are going to go ahead and set this up properly this time. Instead of hitting just the play button, what we are actually going to want to do is we are going to come over to where it says play. And we are going to change it from in full screen to in window. Say, and now it is set it. Now it used to be where we had an option to play in window, play slideshow, play slideshow in window. They've now just made it a toggle, which I actually prefer because now we can save it. Just like in PowerPoint where you could do this in PowerPoint. You can now do this in Keynote. It's a little easier. So now when I hit play, watch what happens. And actually, you're not going to see that change. But now it looks like it's playing full screen, but it's not really playing full screen. If I go back to our presentation with the PIP here, it now is just the slides. And these aren't just, um, these aren't just an overlay or anything. These are the actual slides. If I switch slides 
it does actually change the slides. It works really, really sharp. Trust me, this will impress your clients. Um, but if you don't have the ability to use Ecamm Live, don't worry about it. You can definitely do this still inside of Zoom. Now, let me show you the one last thing, and that is how do we take this production quality that we've set up and bring it into Zoom? So for that, I'm going to bring up Zoom real quick. And I'm actually just going to use the one we have right here and change it over to Zoom. So you're now seeing the Zoom meeting. Down here at the bottom where the controls are, we are going to change two settings. First one is we are going to change this to Ecamm Live Virtual Camera. And right away, you will see it has now created a tunneling effect because now what Ecamm is seeing is what Zoom is seeing. It's a direct copy. It's not out of sync in any way, shape, or form. And now if I go here do the last setting, we're going to change this to be Ecamm Live Virtual Microphone. Now I have the audio and the video from Ecamm. And if I were to change this back, you won't be able to see this necessarily. But if I change this to Keynote, I can definitely see it. And I'll include a recording from, because Zoom has been recording this entire time. I will have that recording file of what Zoom is seeing. So you will see that it is actually showing an exact copy. Now there's one other way to do this if you did not want to do this with the virtual camera. And let me go ahead and show you that real quick as well. I'm going to go back and show you Zoom again. Now I've disabled the camera. I still have the virtual mic on so the audience can still hear me. But this is a little trick. Zoom downgrades your video quality. Even though I was sending full 1080p into Zoom, it was only going to come back as 720p. If you want full resolution, this is a little hack, a little Zoom hack. Go in to Ecamm Live and go to your options under output, sorry, and right where virtual cameras, two under that, there's an option called sharing window. We want to turn that on. Then back inside of Zoom, we're going to hit share screen. Now, normally, when we do this, ooh. Give me a second. I don't know why you can't see that. Let's just do the secondary display. Cool. You can see it now. Normally, we would select what we want to share. But in this case, I'm actually going to click Ecamm Live Sharing. And when I do that, a little bit of magic is going to happen. I'm going to hit Share. And now... Zoom is seeing the production. Let me come out of live demo mode and I'm going to see if it will preview for me. Yep, I'm seeing exactly the same thing as if I was sharing the virtual camera. And that's it. Now, the one downside to this is if I move my mouse over this window in any way, shape, or form, they're not going to see the editing tools. They never will see that. But they definitely will see that your mouse is moving over it. So it's not my preferred method. I still prefer that virtual camera experience. But it is a workaround. It is still going to give you that professional video and audio result. So that's it for this video, guys. A little bit longer than I thought I was going to go on this. But I really wanted to make sure you understood it and gave you as many options as humanly possible. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Real quick, we are hosting a free webinar on January 10th. And it is going to be about how to become a YouTube traffic powerhouse. The link to register is down in the description below. I would love it if you could join us. Uh, we are capping it at 500 attendees. So definitely join us. You will not want to miss it. You will get access to the recordings and so much more out of it. Uh, until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. And if I don't have a video out before then, I should have one out before then. But if I don't, happy holidays. Uh, and I will catch you guys later. Bye for now.